obsessive with food. Over the years, I worked on several cases with dogs that have really bad obsessions and usual fixations on anything from landmowers, rocks, and paper. These dogs live in a state that blinded them to all the things in the world that should be making them happy. Here go. Okay. I was with friends at a county fair, just goofing off on the day. Just walking through this parking lot, and the kid said, Hey, mister, you want a puppy? And I looked down, and there she was. She was six weeks old. And apparently, she was just uh, abandoned at the, at the fair. Where do you know? Where do you know? Where knows his name? Ringo definitely was his first, and, and I married into the family. I have known Ringo longer than I've known who it. You know, there's a bond we have together that, that I don't share with anybody else. I remember first meeting Ringo and her always having crazy tendencies. She's always been a little bit of a nut. I thought that her puppiness would go away and it never really did. When Ringo is outside, pretty much from the moment that she walks out the door, she finds an object, whatever it is, the pine cone, the stick, the ball, and she will pick it up, drop it at your feet, and that's the beginning. What are you going to do, Ringo? Oh, she found it. She drops it in front of you, and she just focuses on it until you move in to try to get it. She never stops. Never stops. It's, it's constant. Leave it. In human terms, I'd say Ringo's obsessive compulsive. For 10 long years, Ringo's obsessive behavior has kept a bond from being formed between her and her family. She has no interest in being petted or played with or cuddling. Okay, the baby. Maybe the baby. Throw it for me. Ah, uh, see, now this never works out well. Throw it back, throw it. It's definitely frustrating to spend all day with it. I want to show what happens when you don't throw it, how she just continues to obsess on it. <laughs> Chairs are being carried by. Babies are crawling around. No interest. And until she goes in the house, even if it's seven hours later, she continues to obsess on that object. I think it's really sad that we feel like we have to ignore her in order to go through our day. Because the only way to really keep it from becoming an issue is to ignore the behavior. The Dove Whisperer crew is used to ignoring unusual behavior. But for David and Healy, it's time for a new approach. When you find yourself ignoring your dog for days on end, and that's not great. You know, and it's probably not the best life for her. Uh, because she wants to be a part of the family, and she's, this is how she communicates, and we don't know how to speak her language. And yeah, I think that's why we're all here.